Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Star Citizen. Um, in my kind of, uh, I guess, beginner, or, or kind of like from scratch uh, series here, where I've started off with an Aurora MR and uh, basically doing the grind, like, uh, you know, the most basic uh, contribution to the game you can possibly make. So the $45 package. And yeah, now in the last episode, right there at the end, I was talking about um, upgrading to a Reliant Tana, or, or actually buying a Reliant Tana. Um, that's a, a Misk ship, and we're gonna just take a quick look at look at it really quick. Now it's eight hundred and seventy thousand um, Alpha UEC, which means um, I'm seven hundred and thirty-one thousand nine hundred twenty-three away from that. So it, we're a few uh, episodes off from that. Now, one of the downsides to these um, the uh, the computers here is it doesn't show all the turrets. So there's going to be turrets on either side, and then there's gun mounts, I think, here and here. I'm not sure if those are the missile mounts or the gun mounts. Um, if, the, if they're not there, then they're somewhere in that vicinity. So there's a turret. The I think it's actually a size th two or size three turret, but it's it, it's like a specific turret to this ship that will only allow you to fit um, size one cannons on it. So, um, but you'll have six guns. You have, I think it's two size twos and four size ones. So this thing it, it actually puts out quite a bit of DPS. I'm actually seriously considering buying one of these because once I do, I'll be able to just walk through very high risk bounties, especially, you know, the group bounties, the whole nine yards. Um, as long as I don't take a whole lot of damage, um, you can easily accomplish very high risk bounties. So I'm actually thinking about doing that instead of going with my original thought of um, buying a cutlass black and a um, gray cat rock to do surface mining um so first of all let's see we need to oh i think you know what i i'm actually continuing on so we still have this journeyman tracker license thing wait where's the sun why am I not getting... Okay, before I take off, though, we're going to do some uh, modifications to my ship weapons. So what I want to do here is um, I want to... What do I want to do? Oh, weaponry. I see white... Right wing... I want the yellow jacket and then the left wing I want the yellow jacket okay so that should put attrition's in the front yellow jackets out on the, the wing all right let's go ahead and take off Do, 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 do. Hangar 9. Oh. <laughs> they always put me in Hangar 9 with a small ship. I don't know if it's just a me thing or if it's like an everybody thing, but I always seem to get Hangar 9 here. So I think once we get our high risk bounty certificate, <clears throat> I'm just trying to think of how quickly we're going to be able to get up to that 780,000, or I'm sorry, the 800, well, no, it was 731,000, wasn't it? Something like that. Get me in. Ooh, I need to drink something. 
Well, not really. I'm at 96. Liquidity. Liquidity? No. Hydration. <laughs> I'm mostly hydrated. Mostly. I'll drink some water. Bam, there. All right. Engines on, quantum and hydrogen fuel both at 100%. Let's go ahead and take off. And we'll just head straight up. Try to get as high of a speed as possible. Come on, get me up there. You don't want to use your afterburners for too, too long because they do overheat and your engines can shut down on you, which is never fun. So as soon as you get that flight systems overheating warning, yeah, you probably want to back off a little bit. Okay. So we're up to 10,000 meters. Let's figure out where the space station... Wait. Why can't I see where... Oh, it's because I have a course plugged in there for some reason. There we go. So we're going to pop up to... Um, Everest Harbor. We're going to go to the Contracts Manager because I want to go to Accepted Journeyman Tracker. So, um, yeah, this is going to be... I can't even believe I still have this mission after <laughs> after uh, everything we went through before. Um, we're going to take off here, and um, I'm going to time-lapse this. So, I will be right back. Okay, so we are getting ready to drop out here at Crusader. Um, I'm going to guess that Mervyn Rakavina is somewhere over by Daymar. Or wait, oh gosh, uh oh, we're getting interdicted by something. Uh, let's see what we're getting interdicted by. I mean, no, maybe it's yellow over there. Well, I'm going to thank whoever interdicted me because that really turned out great. Okay, I was completely wrong on Daymar, and we are shooting over to Yella. So, boom. Here we go. <clears throat> and that's kind of nice. I'm really thankful for that. Thanks, whoever interdicted me. Thank you. You're so awesome. I do have to say I'm slightly nervous about this. Not really. Okay. Oh, come on. Wait, why? Why am all of a sudden is are things flickering like this? That is weird. I don't know what's going on there. <clears throat> See how, like, my panels are flickering? That's just really weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why I'm, like, so coffee already. That is so bizarre. I don't know why that's happening. That was, was that happening in the last episode? I don't think so. Neutralize Mervyn Rukavina. All right. Okay, there we go. There he is down here. Um, let's hope it's something easy like a Super Hornet. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be. Could be freelancers. Um, 
heavy fighters, maybe. Uh, or an Anvil Hurricane, which is going to be a cakewalk. Come on now, nah. get me back over to him. enough. Oh gosh. And again, I'm just trying, I'm just concentrating on that little center reticle, the small, the small circle with the little kind of green and red marker in the center. Oh, he's got to be really close to being done. Boom! All right, there is our high-risk certification. Which is really nice. Um, let's see here. What can I get here? Did I, did I earn any money for that? Let's see. Journeyman Tracker License Certification. 1,500 credits, I'll take that. Now, am I going to be able to do high-risk group bounties? <laughs> yes, yeah, sweet! So, okay, so right now, 39,000 with bonuses. We're probably looking upwards of... mid-40s, I would get... Excuse me, I would guess. Oh, nice. And they're right here. So let's go ahead. We're going to get started. If I don't have to go anywhere for these, heck yeah. Heck yeah, I'm going to get started right now. Khalil Welk. Oh, I have so much work to do after I'm done. I've got two videos to render tonight. Um, <laughs> another, let's see, one video to upload, one video to edit, and two videos to render all tonight. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay, come on. Okay, let's slow down. I don't think he's going to be right here. We might have to wait for him. That's probably going to be him right over there. But let's see. There was something over here. Oh, these are probably just asteroids, like mineable asteroids, I bet. Yeah. Yep, that's what these are. Okay. So let's head back. <clears throat> we probably got over here so quickly that it wasn't expecting us to... Uh, to be that fast. So, uh, oh man, how, it's gonna, it might take me some extra time to, to gain the rep to really get up to that 50,000. But I mean, even if we're doing 80,000, uh, uh, well, no, I guess we would be doing, you know, with all the kills and stuff. So freaking cool. There he is. 
I am going to try to create a screenshot here. Boom, maybe maybe create a... Radar contact. Okay, radar contact. Okay, here he is. What do we got? Another anvil hurricane. Oh, this is going to be easy. Hurricane's not too bad. Trying to keep keep that little reticle centered. Boom! Right there, 1500 Alpha UEC, just like that. All right, next waypoint. Let's um, uh, let's go this way since we're already drifting left. <clears throat> okay, this one's going to be a okay, a little less fun because. <laughs> because uh, we got both markers right on top of each other. This one is going to be a challenge. I bet. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, great. So we just got both updated. We're going to go for this left one first. Since he's a little bit closer, I hope we don't have the ads right off the bat. That's going to be a problem if we do. What is he? Okay, Vanguard Warden. That's not too bad. And we got an Anvil Hurricane. Cool. So I'm using my afterburner sparingly here too. See the engines are critical here. I thought about launching a missile, but then I immediately thought against doing that. Well, my shields aren't damaged. He's gonna go down any second, I think. Come on. Shields. Okay. Boy, was I wrong. Okay, that warden is inbound. Whoa, come on, come on. Like he was about eight or 9,000 clicks uh, or meters off. Okay, he's at 5,500 and closing. 4,500. Now he's got, he's got that size, I think it's like a size four or five chin gun. I think it's a size four. So he can really do some damage if we take a direct hit from that thing. But we're going to be more maneuverable than he is. His shields are diminishing quickly. Now, with ballistics, you can usually let the ballistics uh, run longer than the uh, energy weapons. Boom, there we go. And there is our... So we got another 1,500. And what are we getting paid here? Complete locate bounties. Group warrant, yes, yes, I know. 39,875. Okay, so let's get out of here. Um, let's see, where is... Oh, there we go. I'm like, where's the outer marker? Oh, gosh, quantum system is jammed. Let's just run. There we go. Oh, 
Now, did I take that? Oh, I forgot to look. 185,000. So we're we're closing in on 200,000 already, and which is pretty cool. Um, I guess I'll go to outer marker. I'm th I'm thinking like, should I go to? Should I go to port? Hello. I have no idea what's happening. Should I go to Port Olive Soccer? Or should I go to Grimhex? And I think Grimhex is definitely the cooler of the locations to go. There we go. <clears throat> this is kind of like the Scallywag hangout, I guess you could say. And it's going to be right up in here. You can see kind of all these little snakey... What the... Oh, <gasps> no. No. What the heck did I crash into? Because we're going to be all the way back on Lorville. Oh, my God. Are you freaking kidding me? I was looking so... I was looking forward to landing at Grimhex. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um... Shoot, and I should have done that other journeyman, or that other mission back there, too. Oh, come on. Well, let's see what missions we have. Let's see what the next high-risk... Yeah, we should have done this mission right here. Um... <clears throat> Which means I'm going to have to go all the way back there again. Why is it not giving me any high-risk bounties here, though? Can't do that one. Very low-risk... Oh, well, we got a very low-risk target here. We could just have someone else doing bounties here. Man, I should have gone and just touched down at Port Olisar. Why do I not do that? <laughs> I forget. I get confident in my skills, but I have no idea what the heck we hit. Did it look like we hit anything? I don't. It didn't look like. I mean, there was that big asteroid that we were kind of going by, but it. Pretty sure we were well clear of that. Though I could be wrong. Oh, stay open! Stay open! Stay open! No! Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, so I just time-lapsed that really quick, and, uh, hopefully I remember to go back and, uh, time-lapse that, that, otherwise it's gonna be, like, a really long minute of awkward silence. Really long. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Alright, the Metro Center cannot get here quickly enough. And again, we're just going to have to take off and go all the way back over to <laughs> to Crusader. Uh, unless, let's see. No, no, here we go. Group, high risk. Six. Wait, what did I... Wait, track that one. Where's he at? Oh, so these guys... Okay, so these are all close. Let's, let's do another high risk. We might as well. Because we can get that other license like any time. So we'll just, um, we'll get our fighter. Immediately upgrade it. Or I'm sorry, not upgrade it. Um, we'll just... Uh, expedite it. Upgrade it. Upgrade, expedite. You know, it's the same thing. Oh, I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah, I know. We crashed it, Ella. Yella. Ella? Yella? What is going on with me tonight? I'll file a claim. 
Tafey. Yeah, go back. And then, bam, there she blows. Hangar 9, Hangar 9, I bet. <laughs> it's gonna be Hangar 9, there we go. Told ya. Told ya so. Now, one thing, let's see if I can do this. We used to be able to do this, is actually call for takeoff clearance before we even get to the hangar. So, okay, so it just said we're clear to launch. I'm hoping what that does is, yeah, it's gonna get the doors open. So by the time we get in, get powered up, and, uh, you know, all we, ha all we have to do is just, bam, turn everything on, get out of here. Get around there, come on. Power up. Gear up. Okay, again, 90 degrees, we're gonna point straight up. <clears throat> and then, uh, I think both of these are on the backside of Lor or Hurston, so I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to jump up to the space station at least to get us around the planet. So, nah, not a big deal. All I'm doing is just kind of talking out loud, explaining to you kind of the different things that I think about when I'm playing Star Citizen so that maybe you guys can take some of what I know and incorporate it into your game if you haven't already. And then if you guys have suggestions, by all means, post them down in the video or down in the comments. Also, if you're really interested in Star Citizen, don't forget, use my referral code. It's down in the video description. Uh, when you set up your Star Citizen account, you get an extra 5,000 starting credits, which is pretty cool. Tell your friends and your buddies. All right, so Yuki Sella. Dang, I was really, really wanting to show you guys, show you guys Grim Hex. Okay. Outer marker six, got two more jumps to go. And again, as soon as I drop out of Quantum, I'm immediately tapping B again to, to spool up so that I can get that drive ready to go as fast as possible. Okay. Yeah, that's Magda. I love the colors, I really do. It kind of looks, it doesn't look that natural from way up here, but when you get down to the planet, it looks freaking amazing. Oh, I just hope Yuki is spawned and ready to fight. There she goes. That's what I like to see. Slow down here. We should pick her up any moment. Bam, there she is. Anvil Hurricane, no problem. Okay. 
shields damaged. Only slightly damaged. What's he doing? Okay, I was going to say, he's got to, like, be blowing up any moment now. All right, so off to Ida we go. Eat of the burrito. So this should put us probably in the 230 to 240,000 Alpha UEC range. And I'm thinking that I'm Gonna want to go back to Crusader, just just to get that other license, just to get it out of the way, so it's not one of those things. It's like I keep looking at. I always try to get all the licenses. I don't really care so much about the suspect apprehension licenses. Those are the player bounties, um, and then the. I think the other, there's like one, it's just like a general player bounty. When anyone has a crime stat of three or higher, they get an active bounty placed on their heads and other players can come after you. Yep, it kind of sucks sometimes. Uh, and then there's the bounties for once you escape from jail. And um, I think that is the suspect apprehension bounty. Alright, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, let's start slowing down here. We have another Anvil Hurricane, no problem. <clears throat> Definitely took a few decent hits there. Okay, he's almost done. And where's this last guy? Wait, is it already taking us 10 minutes to do this? Oh, we, were we on the surface when, when I accepted this? Or was I climbing out? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of a big deal. Not really. It's a big deal. No, that's not. the heck is that? Pretty sure that is a bug. If it's not, maybe I have an extra gun just randomly shooting for me. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's weird. I've I've seen this happen before, but not exactly sure what causes it. It's just a graphical glitch. And we have another Anvil Hurricane. So that's easy money right there. Easy money. Shields got Whoa, I must have scored a critical on him or something. For them to cuss that that quickly usually means I got a pretty darn good hit on him. I mean, he's not even like... I just got my sh shields down about 25%, but I'm already back to full.
Where are you going, Bri? Come on, he's got to be close to being done. Ah, oh, we got the ads. Come on. What the heck? What the monkey? <clears throat> oh my god. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, let's just head over to this outer marker 6 here. Or orbital marker, however you want to say it. And I am going to plot a course over to Crusader. And um, I am going to time lapse this. And we'll be right back. I'll see you in just a second. For me, it's going to be like 20 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, for me, it'll be a few minutes. Though. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so we are dropping out of Quantum here at Crusader. I'm going to skip right over to Port Alisar. I'm going to touch down really quick there. Um, where is she? There she is. <laughs> I definitely want to touch down here. Um, actually, I think I'm going to get out. Uh, we're going to go in really quick. I think there's something in there that I want. Okay. Contact ATC to land, so let's go ahead and... Ah, come on. I don't want to land on that side of the station. If I'm past the center line, it's going to land me... Oh, great. I already have somebody targeting me. Maybe. Probably just that guy. Wait, what? Okay, where am I supposed to land? Here. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. I feel like a noob. What the heck? Phew. Stay. All right, let's just run <clears throat> and hope we don't get pad rammed. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is Port Alisar. This is actually the, the oldest station. Actually, it's the oldest landing area in the game. We've done a couple small upgrades to it, but nothing like super major. Um, it is going to go away soon. Like, I'm guessing by the end of the year, maybe even as early as 3.14. I haven't heard anything about it changing that drastically in 3.14, though. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go up to the screen. And come on, come on. Gotta take a dump, dump at Dumper's Depot. Sorry. I... Okay, so we've got 231,992. Alpha UEC, come on now. I'm waiting for the selection, come on. Is there another? Okay, let's try this one. Thank you. Just ah, oh, there we go. Mining modules. Okay. I don't need. Well, they actually have guns and stuff here. I forgot about that. Paints. Aurora green and gold livery. So that's what's gonna look like. Light. Oh, both of these are really cool. 
I actually think I like the green and gold a little better, even though it's the cheaper one. I'm gonna buy this. Because I want I want my I want my Aurora to look a little bit different. So we're just gonna run out here. I'm gonna store the Aurora really quick. Once it's stored, I'll be able to make that modification to it. I think. Come on. There we go. Paint. Paint. Boom. This actually looks really nice. <clears throat> they're not cheap. Like, the paints aren't... Like, in-game, they're not, like, really all that super cheap. But, they're definitely... Most of them, I would say, are really nice looking. Not all of them. Like, some of them are not great. Alright, Alpha 1. Okay, so it's out that way. I just want to kind of go in here really quick. I don't think there's any armor in here that I want or need. Bonus, since I, since I died, I don't need to... Um, drink anything Hi. um let's go i'm gonna buy more med pens let me get 20 this time so that'll give us like in the upper 20s i just hate being somewhere and needing lots of med pens and being like no i don't have any all right cycle the airlock and let's go get our ship why am I not seeing that mission? I'm sure it's here. And we got the new livery on there. I mean, the new paint job. Not sure if it's worth 25, or what was it, 23,500? Not sure if it's worth that, but hey. I don't know, that looks pretty cool. Um, all right, everything is on. Why am I not seeing the waypoint? It's still there. Take off. Wait, was it at Selen or Yella? Yella, Yella. Thank you, and please visit again. Okay, verified freelancer bounty assessment. Okay, so it's around Yella. What's that big box out there? Oh, I did take some damage. Uh-oh. I must have taken some decent damage in uh, the last sortie. But we're still over 200,000, so that's good. wonder what I hit. I don't really remember getting like a big, like, like nailing anything or getting nailed by something. I don't even re really remember taking any uh, big hits. Of course, it's kind of my fault for not repairing while I was down, but. Do not want to power off. Okay, there we go. I have no idea what we're going to be coming up against on this one. I'm thinking that it's probably something in the light to medium range. Okay. Radar 
Okay, it's just an Avenger Stalker. In other words, no big deal. So now what do we got? High risk. Yeah, see, like suspect apprehension, squirrel in monkeys. Yeah, that's not an in game player name. In game player name. Okay. Okay, this next one is in system here. So I'm going into a high-risk bounty with a damaged Aurora. And I feel very confident that I'm going to come out of this with flying colors. Let's get a little bit more speed. Okay, 13. Oh, it's going to be one of these. It's going to make me wait. Is this going to be them? Or is this going to be like a mineable? Like an asteroid? Whoops. Yeah, I think these are just asteroids. <clears throat> Well, there's one of them. What is it? Oh, it's an it's an anvil ba Valkyrie. Okay, this is not a good situation. The, a Valkyrie can definitely take me out to the ball game. It looks like it's stationary. Oh, it's moving. Never mind. Yeah, this one, not so sure. It's going to take a long time to cut, both cut through his shields, and we're probably going to get, get the adds off of them. Oh, this guy. Th these are pretty heavily armored. Usually you get these guys in uh, the very high-risk bounties. These are usually, in very high-risk bounties, these are the worst ones to deal with. In a high-risk bounty, in a light fighter, these are definitely um, really bad to deal with. Now, um, if when I kill this guy, I'm probably going to get about an extra 30... Or not 30, uh, three or four thousand, oh gosh, three or four thousand credits, um, which is good. Come on, coolers. Okay, his front and rear shields are pretty much down. Okay. Oh gosh. 
What the heck? Okay, we got us two ads. That's not good. I'm gonna try to concentrate on him primarily. Come on. Uh oh. Yes. Okay, what do we got? Vanguard Warden Hurricane. I don't I don't know what did you guys see like what damn or what I got paid? Oh 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 shields down. Ooh, he really spanked that shield. Okay, shields coming back up. Warden down. Let's see if what I can do with just the attritions here. Or not. Let's I'll throw in some minigun. I'm just trying to conserve ammo here. I really wish it told us how much ammo we had for our ballistics. Okay, I think we just lost one of our weapon systems. He's almost down. That's right. We only killed the one dude. Okay. Yep. My my right my left wing is gone. Oh. Okay. Anvil Hurricane. Not so bad. We got okay. We got an ad. Cutlass Black. And I don't know. Oh gosh. Somebody's got a missile lock on. Yeah. <laughs> I think I collided with the uh, the ship. Somebody had a missile lock on us, though. Um, let's see. When we respawn at Port Alisar, which is where we should respawn at, um, oh, good. Okay, so we still have the mission. Sometimes when you die, you actually lose that, uh, lose the mission. But obviously here we still have it. I can't believe I'm going up against these ships in like the lightest fighter basically that you can get. <clears throat> Come on. I already know it's destroyed. You don't have to tell me that. File claim. Okay, expedite, go back, and retrieve. D7. All right, D. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's this way. All right. Yep, 
Yeah, I think because the side of my ship was borked, I think that's really why it was so easy to... Uh, they probably just got a ballistic shot in there, and that was it. All right. Fire it up. Fire it up. Come on, baby. Come on. There she goes. Gear up. And we are out of here. Boom! I tell you, like I like, I love the challenge of doing these bounties, though. But the, I, I'll admit, okay, if you're truly a beginner, these might be a little bit overwhelming, and you might want to stay with like maybe the medium bounties. Um, at at most, you're, you'll definitely need, you know, at least until you grow accustomed to doing them and then once you kind of you know get more you know build more confidence up um then you can try like the high risk bounties and we're gonna you know eventually unlock the very high risk bounties so we're definitely going to be over 150 or i'm sorry 250,000 alpha uec um once we complete this one which would be pretty sweet Come on, I just want to get Biag Biaglo Biagio B I it looks like it's B I A G I O. Uh, where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Neutralized bounty two three. What? Did he just? Okay. It does say two out of three. Is that how many I have? Is, is that many? How many I've neutralized? Or okay, I'm gonna go. Let's, see, let's get up some speed here. I'm just gonna go. <clears throat> into decoupled mode. Yeah, he's not back there. Okay, this happens sometimes where an enemy runs into a piece of debris, runs into an asteroid, um, screws up and pays the price. And it looks like that is one of them. Very funny, does not happen too often. You don't get any um, credit for the kill but it still counts towards the bounty. Locate target name, locate target name. What the heck? What is going on here? Yusef Hines. Cutlass Black. It's weird, like, once I put that new paint on my ship, it's like the gun sounds are a little bit more muffled. Ooh, I've already blown off part of the front of his ship. Oh, gosh. Did I already get, like, oh, maybe not, maybe not, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yes, 
Oh no, it still says I have one of three remaining. What the heck? Ooh, that was so close. Why is he just sitting there? Um... What is going on here? Yalgo Ellswick, track. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, thank gosh. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go target location right over here. I don't know what's going on there, but. Uh, we will be victorious, I hope. I'm going to be really disappointed if I spent all this time trying to do this mission and then I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not seeing... Yeah, I'm not seeing any markers. He's probably in the vicinity of this asteroid, though. So, okay, let's slow down. Let's not go that fast. Oh, <gasps> yes, there he is. Ah! Okay, 700 meters per second. What do we got? Anvil Hurricane, no problem. Oh no, we got all, all of our wings. I thought one of my wings got shot off, but thankfully it didn't. Another reason why I kind of want to get that um, that Misk Reliant Tana is because mo I think all of my upgrades that I put on the Aurora will also work on that Tana. What is he? Oh, come on. Game, you're cheating. That's a server tick issue. Oh, thank gosh. All right, let's try to get the Grim Hex again this time. And this time, let's not die. What did that put me up to? Oh, 262,000. So I feel like I'm making like real progress towards that. Eight, what is it? 870,000 total. So we have we have a lot to earn. But you know, we're like less or well, we're more than a quarter of the way there. So. We're almost a third the way there, but I'm not going to be able to do any more in this episode. So we're going to head over here to Grim Hex. Who I've already got. Welcome to Grim Hex. Wait, are those? This always kind of messes with me. I think though that's the old. Those are the old landing pads up there, maybe? Wait, wait a second. Why am I not getting markers? Yeah, it should be right back here. Uh. There we go. Landing gear deployed. So this ship's pretty small. We might be able to squeeze it right in here. Yeah. All right, 
I am going to automated landing. Did it work? There we go. Landing complete. All right, let's uh, let's do some repairs here. Um, let's just do everything. Maybe. Quantum is full. Hydrogen is full. And again, okay. See how see how our HUD flashed down here. Um, that means everything's done. So if we go back to the vehicle maintenance services, bam, everything is good to go. Um, so let's go ahead and get out. And as I make my way up, I will thank you guys for hanging out with me once again as I'm basically making money um, trying to make my way in the universe of Star Citizen. And um, let's see here. How's my... How does my ship look in here? I want to want to kind of see what it's looking like. That looks pretty cool. I can't I can't deny. <laughs> but um yeah, thank you all so much for, you know, hanging out with me once again um as I um crawl my way up from nothing. The, the lowest ship, the lowest tier ship you can buy. So if you want to get into the game, just um, buy an Aurora MR, follow the series, and you will make gazillions of dollars. And then there's this guy who's maybe trying to be me, but not so much. Welcome to Grim T Grim Hex. And um, yeah, you can see uh, Yella out in the distance. Just the, at the ambience and atmosphere is just freaking amazing. All right. That's going to be it for me this time. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you back very soon for more Star Citizen. I'm Brad M73. Have a good night and bye for now.